Hey everybody, I have a question for you, and that is, what's the difference between these two electric lawnmowers? They're both brushless, both 40 volts, uh, both a 20 inch cutting path. Uh, this one has headlights, that one has headlights. Uh, the way the handles uh, retract looks almost identical. Uh, the safety and then pull bar to start it looks pretty much identical. So what's the difference between the two of these? If we look where you put the battery, the slot here, that's the same on both of them. You can in fact put a 40 volt uh, Ryobi battery into that hurt, but it won't slide down all the way. If we look at the receiver for the Ryobi here, you can see it's basically a couple of female connections. And over on the heart, it's basically a couple of male connections. So you just can't put the Ryobi battery right down onto here. However, I made a little cable so that I could put a Ryobi battery and connect it up here, except when I tried to start it, still nothing happened. Now, when we look down in here, there's a couple of middle pins those pins in the middle there and on the battery they're marked t1 and t2 so there's some sort of a temperature sensor so on the ryobi battery we can see there are male connections we've got positive negative and then t1 and t2 so i figure for those to sense how warm the battery is to uh, like shut down the lawnmower if the battery is overheating it must have some sort of a sensor in there which changes resistance with temperature and it's a little cool outside here right now it's not 70 degrees but if i put my meter set to measuring ohms and i put my probes on those two temperature connectors over here we're going to get some sort of a number that number is 40 kilo ohm. So I'm sure that number changes a bit depending on temperature. I could probably hit this with a heat gun and watch that number change. But I figured, okay, well, if this is saying 40 kilo ohm, why don't I do the same over here? And I can do that with a couple of resistors. I've got two uh, 20 kilo ohm resistors in series. And then... Uh, I'm just going to take these two connections, put them on those temperature, and that's the one other difference is where those two temperature pins line up. One is the same as on the Ryobi battery, and the one is different. So that's another thing where this battery could not just slide right down on there. But now I've got my positive and negative battery power, and in place of the temperature sensors on here, um, just using a couple of resistors. So let's see what happens. We'll uh, press here and pull down. Not sure if I can do that one-handed. <laughs> sure enough, it works just fine. So if you already have a bunch of Ryobi 40 volt batteries, and you can find a heart push mower for dirt cheap like I did, you absolutely can run it on a Ryobi battery, uh, but you're going to have to do a little bit of modification. And in fact, since here there's a, a spot for like just holding a spare battery, I thought maybe what I can do is just uh, do a little work on the wiring, make these connections down in the bottom there, clean this wiring up, just solder a little jumper there, and then I could, or actually do it properly, um, do some connections down here, but then feed them over there. And then all I'd have to do is just drop a regular Ryobi battery right in here, and I'd be good to go.